Hello everybody and welcome to another hobby cheating video and today we're going to talk about creating and painting lightning. Uh, this is a weird one but it's fun. This is, a, this is a quick little tip. So I'm starting with a very small gauge paper clip. I just bend it out into you know something more roughly straight so I get a little piece and we're going to grab ourselves a pair of pliers and we're just going to start creating interesting bends and notice that I rotate it in multiple directions so you get something that's not just it doesn't it shouldn't be bent along one axis like i'm flipping it around 90 degrees turning it so i get something that's really crooked and bent in a lot of interesting different shapes right switching directions falling back stuff like that you can cut a lot of different little pieces you can cut different size pieces you don't need to really plan it out just grab yourself some little pliers and start putting some bends in some paper clips it's real easy and fast right and once you've got a good supply of these built up, you can just kind of keep them. It can be your little lightning thing. This is great for an effect jumping off of power swords or coming out of casters, spellcasters' hands or whatever. Now, what I'll usually do is connect it between the weapon and something else. But here I'm going to show you how I just put it on a base to make some little lightning striking. So I start by uh, getting some gel glue. And we're going to touch that into the glue and then put on a little accelerant so it stays in one place now i'm going to screw this up right away because i let it fall the first time I, that wasn't that was me not being patient you know be patient so i put on some new glue and then ta-da now we got a little bolt so generally the other end of that would be at a weapon or something and you'll see how i actually do it in just a moment and you take another piece and then the key is you want to try to line it up with the other piece there in some way so you put the two pieces together so that they're touching, as I did right there. And now you've got a little split bolt. And so the key is you just make different sizes, like those two were roughly the same size, but if I was gonna do a whole thing, I would cut another little piece, maybe a tiny one, attach it down at the bottom, right, whatever. And now they're nice and strong. You can pick those up. You can see here, this is, uh, this is a big model full of lightning. Some of that's already modeled on, but I added extra bolts to him. Uh, this is the big, uh, Satan um, guy. He comes with lightning, but he didn't have enough lightning for me. I wanted more connections to the actual ground. So I made, I saw, you can see where I, well, maybe you can see, I don't know, but I added extra bolts to it. So now we're just going to paint it. I'm going to make this pink lightning because I'm a crazy person like that. I think pink lightning looks cool, like volcanic lightning. Volcanic ash lightning is pink. So I actually start with some contrast uh, Magos uh, or Vulpus, sorry, Vulpus pink. Uh, and what I'm doing is just, I'm gonna base coat that entire, all the bolt with it. If you're gonna do blue lightning, just pick a nice blue color, like a contrast paint. Something that's real liquidy, real inky, something that flows really well. Cause painting these fully round three dimensional surfaces are really annoying cause you will miss spots left and right. So get a big brush, get a bunch of paint on your brush. Something like a contrast or an ink is the perfect place to start. If you're doing blue, start with a deeper blue. If you're doing purple lightning, start with a deep purple. If you're doing pink lightning, start with a nice deep pink like this, okay? But that's the point. And you just base coat the whole thing. Just get all the lightning that color. Easy peasy. So then once I have all that lightning that color, the key is we now need to make it actually look like lightning. And to do that, we're just gonna do some traditional layering. And we're gonna focus those highlights in on the areas where the bolts come together or change direction or, you know, sort of have a, or, or end. So in other words, you just need to pick areas to create contrast, to go from light to dark. So I'm just slowly integrating some pastel violet into my pink color, my magenta that I'm using here. And I'm just adding it, adding it, adding it, adding it, slowly layering up and building it brighter and brighter and brighter. And once I get, you know, so we get those really, really bright hot points that look near white, where either there's multiple bolts touching or where the lightning ends or where there's a big sudden direction change and a break. And that'll create this nice contrasting variance between super light and super dark. Once you've done a bunch of that, you just take a little bit of a magenta, you work it down to a glaze or whatever your, made, your original color was and you smooth out those blends. And that's really all there is to it. Lightning is super simple. It's, uh, it's fun to paint and uh, it creates a lot of instant contrast all over your model. So it's, a, it's really a great time. Uh, that's it. This is a real short one. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, give it a like, 
subscribe for additional hobby cheating in the future. Don't forget to hit that bell if you want notifications. Uh, if you've got questions, drop those down below. But as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.